In this video, we'll learn about the graphical method of root finding. Just to review, the purpose of root finding is to find the zeros of the equation f of x. Oftentimes, f of x is nonlinear, and it may be impossible to write an explicit equation for x. In such cases, we have to employ root finding methods to obtain the numerical answer. There are four main root finding methods we'll cover in this class. The bisection and newton raphson methods are famous algorithms which can be easily implemented in a computer language like MATLAB. MATLAB itself has built-in root finding functions which are based on various algorithms like bisection and newton raphson But the most primitive and simplistic, yet perhaps the most insightful, root finding technique is to just graph the function. In this class, we've been plotting extensively. We use plots to check our answer, understand the properties of functions, and more, so why stop now? Here's a motivating example. This equation represents the capital recovery factor. Let's say you take out a loan from a bank, which needs to be repaid in annual payments or annuities. If you know how much you borrowed, P, and you know the interest rate on the loan and how many years it will take to repay it, you can get A, which is how much you have to pay every year. Another scenario is if you deposit some money into your bank account every year. If you know the interest rate and how many years you'll be making the deposit, you can find P, which represents how much money you'd have to deposit in one sitting today to match the total amount of money you deposit over time. This is all straightforward because the unknown in both scenarios is either A or P. But now, let's say you know A, P, and N, but now you want to find the interest rate, I. It's very hard, if not impossible, to rearrange the equation to find an expression for I. Therefore, we have to employ a root finding method. When we use a root finding technique, we have to rearrange whatever equation we're given into f of x equals zero form. If we move the a over to the right hand side, we get this stuff minus a equals zero, and we can find the root of that equation to obtain our interest rate. Since we already have an equation ready to be solved, we might as well plot it so we can have some idea of what the answer is before we actually do any math. When we plot it, we have two choices. First, we can plot both the left-hand side and the right-hand side as individual functions on the same graph. The point of intersection is our answer. I threw in some dummy parameters into MATLAB here and plotted both sides of the capital recovery factor equation. The lines cross at just about 0.2, so it looks like our interest rate is about 20%. The other choice is to plot the equation in root finding form. I like this method better because you already have to rearrange the equation into f of x equals zero form anyways, so you might as well just plot that equation. Now, we want to look for where the function crosses the x-axis. We see it hits the x-axis around 0.2, which agrees with the plot from the last slide. We estimated that the interest rate is about 20%, but we can improve that estimate by supplying a tighter x-axis range. Instead of plotting from zero to one, we can plot from, say, 0.19 to about 0.20. The extra detail on the plot now enables us to get a better root estimate. If you're in MATLAB, you can easily zoom in or out of a region using the tools which appear when you hover over the top right corner of a plot window. This makes exploring the plot incredibly easy. I played around with the plot a bit and found that the interest rate is about 19.91%, although you can keep zooming in indefinitely to get a more precise interest rate. That's basically it, but why should you use this method? Well, perhaps the primary reason is because it's just good practice. But if that's not a good enough reason, the graphical method allows you to know the answer before you do any programming. You should use the plot to complement the more advanced root finding methods we'll cover soon. For instance, if you plot the function and see that the interest rate is about 20%, but you write a sophisticated MATLAB program to find the root and it gives you an interest rate of 40%, you know there's a discrepancy somewhere. But if you didn't plot beforehand, you would have no way of knowing a 40% interest rate is wrong. The graphical method is a quick way to make sure you get the right answer every time. Another compelling reason to plot the function is because it helps set up the more advanced root finding techniques. Root finding algorithms are iterative. They require you to supply at least one initial guess. Plotting the function makes picking the initial guesses really easy. Since the plot reveals the interest rate is something like 19.91%, we can choose an interest rate of 20% as our initial guess since it's very close to the true value of the interest rate. But if you didn't plot, you might have no idea what to pick as the initial guess. 
Finally, graphical interpretations are useful for understanding the properties of the functions and anticipating the pitfalls of various root finding methods. We'll get into this later on, but here's a quick example. Let's say a function has multiple roots, but you're only interested in a specific root. When you plot the function, you can intentionally choose an initial guess which converges to the root you want. But if you don't plot the function, you might inadvertently pick an initial guess that converges to one of the roots you don't want. Plotting has very few limitations. Obviously, if you make a typo in the equation and end up plotting the wrong thing, your root estimate will be wrong as well. But I don't really consider that a true negative because being error prone is a downfall of coding as a whole, not just the graphical method. The graphical method allows you to get a rough estimate of the root, but zooming in on the plot repeatedly isn't a reliable or viable way to get an accurate answer. Finally, it might take some experimentation to find a suitable plotting range. Let's say the root of a function occurs at x equals negative 5. If you tell MATLAB to plot the function between x equals 0 and x equals 10, you won't see the function cross the x-axis, and you might think you did something wrong. But this is also a pretty trivial issue since changing the x-axis limits is incredibly easy and low effort. To summarize, the graphical method is a simple but incredibly powerful way to obtain the estimate of a root. Plotting should be instinctive. Whenever you see an equation in the problem statement, your first thought should always be to plot it either as two individual functions on the same graph or an f of x equals zero form on one graph. Although the graphical method doesn't really give you exact answers, it gives you a good enough approximation of the answer that you can use to check the answer given by other root finding techniques. When I'm out of your life and no longer annoying you with numerical methods and MATLAB and whatnot, please, if nothing else, plot everything. See you next time.